Hello students, I am recording this video to cover some of the parameters related to the skyway propagation. The skyway propagation is also called as ionospheric wave propagation and uh, the basics of wave propagation and its types were already discussed in a previous video. And in this video, we will see these points one by one. First one, the virtual height. So the virtual height is indicating the height from the earth surface to a point where the wave will be reflected back to the earth okay so seeing this picture <coughs> a wave is transmitted from the transmitting antenna uh, to the ionosphere and at one point the uh, the wave will take bend and will reach to the receiving station and here uh, if we assume that the wave is uh, extending in a straight line and reaching to a maximum level of the this ionosphere and from that point if that is again traveling back to the receiving antenna and that place is representing the virtual height the virtual height is always greater than the actual height the actual height is based on the ionized, uh, ionized contents i mean the electron density of the ionospheric layer but the virtual height represents the imaginary height in the ionospheric layer okay and the next one is critical frequency the critical frequency is also part of this ionospheric wave propagation and this frequency is indicating the highest frequency which will be reflected back to the earth by that layer and if you transmit any wave with frequency greater than this frequency that wave will be escaping the ionospheric layer and there will be no communication by the ionospheric propagation sorry by ionospheric layer so always when choosing a wave with a frequency this condition should be always maintained so the critical frequency for a given layer is the highest frequency okay so always the electromagnetic wave which are coming from the transmitting antenna should be lower than this critical frequency okay so this picture is giving you the understanding of the importance of the critical frequency okay you see from the antenna there is a tower here and an electromagnetic wave is transmitted with different frequencies first one the lower line if the wave is transmitted with the frequency 5 MHz then it is assumed to reach the surface and then also another frequency if the frequency is chosen with the value 20 MHz that is also reaching the surface of the earth but if the transmitting frequency is chosen greater than this critical frequency then that may have enough strength to escape the ionospheric layer and the communication will not be successful so when you choose a frequency for a transmission it should be always lower than the critical frequency okay then <coughs> we have an equation for this critical frequency so this equation is based on the electron density in the ionospheric layer so that uh, n small n represents the value sin theta i divided by sin theta of r so here 
this is actually the condition for reflection n equal to sin theta incident angle divided by reflecting angle okay so here uh, this is equal to root of 1 minus 81 into n divided by f square okay so if the angle of incidence is 0 which means if you transmit the wave uh, vertically without any angle so that is representing theta i equal to 0 so the vertical transmission from the ground surface to the ionospheric layer is representing the angle 0 okay so but normally we will transmit any wave with an angle okay but in defining this critical frequency the uh, transmission angle will be assumed with zero angle okay so it is also called as vertical incidence okay so based on this we will get the value for this critical frequency so this critical frequency is equal to 9 into root of n with its maximum value so as i told you already n indicates the electron density of the ionospheric layer and uh, always its maximum value should be considered because based on the electron density or ionized particles density only the frequency will be determined so it is n max okay <coughs> then this is the condition so we can see this equation sin theta i is greater than the equation so the sin theta i value will be always the root value of 1 minus fc by f the whole square where fc is the critical frequency and f is the usable frequency i mean the frequency in which you are sending the electromagnetic wave then the critical angle we can skip this okay, just for continuity we can take only the statement for this critical angle so it is defined as the angle of incidence which wave will be reflected and if theta greater than the critical angle the wave will not be reflected okay so here when you fix an angle or if you assume that you are tilting the transmitting antenna then that antenna will have an angle so based on that angle the wave will be transmitted to the ionospheric layer and if that angle is lesser than the critical angle it will be reflected if it is greater than the critical angle the wave will not be reflected so that is the critical angle so here we can see this last line as the frequency of radio wave is increased the critical angle must be reduced so this line is indicating the frequency and the critical angle are related Okay, the next one is maximum usable frequency so this maximum usable frequency is the highest frequency which can be used for a communication that means when you transmit a wave what is the maximum frequency above which the wave will not be coming back it will be escaping the ionospheric layer so the maximum usable frequency is also one of the important parameters in this skyway propagation the highest frequency that will be returned to the earth for a given angle of incidence so before this uh, we have taken the statement for critical angle so in that there was a line the critical angle and the frequency are related 
so here it is confirming that relation so when you choose a frequency you should also make an angle or you should also determine the angle of incidence okay so this picture is the first one is indicating the understanding of maximum usable frequency in relation with the angle okay so if the angle is lesser than the critical angle and the frequency also lesser than the critical frequency then we can choose the maximum usable frequency so based on that the maximum usable frequency is having this equation it is the product of the critical frequency and the angle of incidence the second value of the angle of incidence fc into second theta i okay and another relation we can derive through this the maximum usable frequency always greater than critical frequency skip distance so skip distance is okay here the skip distance is the distance after which only the communication takes place which means there will be a distance from the transmitter to a point where the wave will reach the ground so between the two points the distance will not be having any communication so that distance is called as skip distance so the skip distance is based on the frequency and the angle of incidence and also the ionization level in the ionospheric layer so again i'm telling the skip distance is the distance from the transmitter to the point where the sky wave will reach to the earth so from that point to the transmitter the communication will not be available so we can say uh, the skip distance is a zone where no communication so that skip distance can be controlled by choosing a proper value of frequency and the angle of incidence so the previous yeah this one so you can understand the skip distance from this picture so you have the earth surface and from the transmitter number of waves are uh, transmitted to the ionosphere and they are reflected back to the earth but uh, you can see that very first line reaching the ground i mean the first wave okay so it will reach a point and before that there will be no communication by this ionospheric wave propagation only after that the other waves are reaching the ground surface so uh, it is clearly saying the skip distance or skip zone is a place where there will be no communication okay then so the based on this uh, we have an equation so skip distance is represented by uh, ds that is equal to 2 times the height of the layer divided by <coughs> tan value of the critical angle okay and <coughs> the skip distance can also be related with the maximum usable frequency and the critical frequency so it is given by this equation in this slide so it is equal to 2 times the height of the anospheric layer into root of f maximum uh, i mean f mu f divided by fc the whole square minus 1 okay we can skip this o w f 